So do you want to explain uh, how sure. you got started on this? So I began about two years back. I saw a YouTube video on this and I thought it was so cool. So I bought my first magnet okay. by Amazon, which was this one. Had you always been fishing and like uh, interested? Yeah, okay. fishing for like fish. But. Yeah. <laughs> um, this can pull about 150 pounds oh. and this costs about $40, the whole okay. thing. What was some of the first stuff that you were able to uh, find? A lot of scrap metal, pipes, not too much good stuff. Okay. Uh, a can of French onion dip. Oh wow, okay, so that was... Uh, you just kind of kind of grew yeah. from there the passion of doing it okay. and then I started inviting some friends to come for the first bit nobody came but I eventually got like a following it took a little while yes yeah. uh, and then the second thing I bought was kind of heavier or a stronger oh, metal <laughs> this magnet oh, wow. this can hold about 300 pounds okay so what kind of YouTube video, where was that? Was that in the U.S. and you could just saw a lot of junk being yeah. pulled out? Okay. Um, and then progressively I just started buying more stuff. Got this one, which is 500 pounds. Wow. They're a lot bigger than the other two. Okay. And so since then, I mean, you found, what's the biggest thing you found? Maybe? Uh, the bicycles and the shopping carts and that dock. And that dock over there, yeah. Let me see. White dock on the side. Okay, so is there a larger one you're looking to buy now, or is it just uh, kind of the limit? I kind of want to keep that as the limit, because okay. if it does get stuck to something too heavy, it's kind of stuck and I can't get it off. Right. Um, and then my grappling hook. Oh, it's stuck. Okay. Wow. So this is... Want to... What's this exactly, so... Um... So this is for things that aren't magnetic or just so big that um, it's easy to pull up with this because this won't release.